on 5a we had classified this one as being linear we're going to solve it as a linear ODE and so to solve this as a linear ODE I'm going to want to bring my uh, y terms over to the left side of the equation so that they're right next to the uh, derivative term so let me grab these y terms I'm going to bring them over and when I bring them over I'll factor out a y so that this equation becomes y prime plus negative x minus 1 times y is equal to 2x plus 2. And then when I introduce my integrating factor, my integrating factor is going to be e raised to the integral of the coefficient of y, negative x minus 1. I'm integrating with respect to x, and that's going to give me e to the negative x squared over 2 minus x. And I want to multiply the equation by that. If I multiply the equation by e to the negative x squared over 2 minus x, I get e to the negative x squared over 2 minus x y prime plus negative x minus 1 e to the negative x squared over 2 minus x times y equals on the right side 2x plus 2 times e to the negative x squared over 2 minus x. And when we introduce that integrating factor it ensures that we'll be able to factor this left side of the uh, equation or rewrite it as a single derivative. You can grab that first factor e to the negative x squared over 2 minus x and then multiply by y. This right side I'm going to factor out that 2 and to undo this derivative we want to apply the integral to both sides now on the left side the integral and the derivative cancel each other out and they leave you with this e to the negative x squared over 2 minus x times y on the right side of the equation we have to look at this integral and decide how we're going to work this. Now because this exponent is so ugly we want to try and get rid of that. We can try using u substitution. If I let u equal the exponent, negative x squared over 2 minus x, then I get du is negative 2x over 2 minus 1 which is negative if you factor out the negative you get a negative x plus 1 and that's real nice because we have this x plus 1 as a factor already so we, we just need a, a negative and sorry I need to put a dx here so I need to put a negative somewhere here and bring the 2 out and because I'm putting a negative inside I'm going to have to bring a negative outside minus a negative will cancel out bring the 2 out this part is my du and I'll be left with the integral of e to the u power du
and when you integrate e to the u, you get e to the u back. And so I'm going to get minus 2. My e to the u is going to be e to the negative x squared over 2 minus x, and then plus c. Now let's see, here we had a boundary value problem. We know that y of 1 is equal to 0. And I wonder if I should just substitute that in right now. I think I can. Uh, if I substitute in y of 1 equals 0, I'm going to change my ink color here. y of 1 equals 0 says when x is 1, y is 0. And that's going to give me e to the negative 1 half minus 1 times 0. So this whole left side becomes 0 is equal to negative 2 e to the negative 1 half minus 1. That's going to give me an e to the negative 3 halves plus c. I can get c by bringing this negative 2 e to the negative 3 halves over to the left side. c is 2 e to the negative 3 halves. So that gives me this equation as e to the negative x squared over 2 minus x times y equals negative 2 e to the negative x squared over 2 minus x plus c plus 2 e to the negative 3 halves. And I can solve for y by multiplying both sides of the equation by this exponential uh, e to the negative x squared over 2. Oh, let me do plus x squared plus x so that these exponents will add up to be 0. And that gives me y equals negative 2. And again, those exponents will add to give you a 0 plus 2e, and here on these exponentials you can go ahead and add, and I'm going to get x squared over 2 plus x minus 3 halves as my new exponent. And there's my answer.